Hey guys, today I will be swatching and reviewing for you all six of the new Rose Ink Cream Blushes. Since these came out, I've had my eye on them. They look absolutely beautiful and I can assure you they are absolutely beautiful. So let's start with some swatches and then I'll talk about these in more detail towards the end. Now you can either choose to buy them in their normal packaging that comes in a compact or you can also actually just purchase the refills. What I decided to do is purchase the refills and I'll just get a palette and I'll pop the, all of these in. It just made more sense for me as someone on YouTube swatching all these shades for you. It was a lot more affordable than trying to buy the compact. So let's get started. I'm going to first start off with the shade Ophelia. This is a shade Ophelia which is a beautiful pink color. And I'm just applying this with my finger. As you can probably see from the application, this is a little bit of an emollient, dewy formulation. They are very, very easy to blend with your finger. And so you can absolutely blend this all out with your finger. And I'm just going to do just that. A gorgeous pink. That's just beautiful. That is Ophelia, very lightly applied. And as you saw, the color was quite pigmented. However, it just shears out and blends out so beautifully and so easily. Absolutely no issues there. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more. These are really stunning, you guys. So I have been thoroughly enjoying wearing this formulation from Rose Ink. It's kind of like that slightly cool tone petal pink color. So Heliotrope is like a really pale, almost a, a neutral pale pink. It looks really light on me. It still works. I can definitely wear it, but it's not my favorite shade just for my skin tone gonna apply I feel like it has a little bit of a a silvery tint to it I don't know why I'm feeling like it has a silver base or reflex but yeah it's it's not my favorite shade out of the bunch so I'm applying quite a bit of this and you can kind of see that it is definitely a bit light it is going to work really well for lighter skin tones I'm going to go ahead and build up more. I felt like I've applied a lot of product. So I've definitely applied quite a bit. And I think this is probably the max pigmentation that I can get from this shade. It's the lightest out of the bunch. So this is a shade Heliotrope. This shade is Foxglove. It looks beautifully warm on my skin tone. I'm going to use my hourglass brush and I'm just going to blend this out. Just tap, tap, tap. So as you can see, this blends out beautifully with a brush as well. Just note that with a brush, you don't get as much dewiness as you do with a finger. And that's essentially how I found this formula. It really looks its most dewy with a finger application. However, both ways, it just looks really beautiful. So this is the shade Fox Glove, really sheared out and blended out beautifully. It complements my skin tone really well. So I'm gonna build up a little bit more. Just want to show you the texture of this blush. You can see it's quite emollient. And this time I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. Oh, what a beautiful shade. Oh my God. So this is the shade Foxglove. Beautiful. Next up we have the shade, and I have no idea how to pronounce this, Anemone, maybe. A beautiful, beautiful color. I mean, just look at how bright that looks. I'm going to put Foxglove and Anemone side by side so that you can kind of see the difference between the two. So this right here is Foxglove and this here is Anemone. So Anemone is your almost like a bright coral and Foxglove is more of a a warmer muted coral. Both look really good on my skin tone. 
and this is most definitely a coral. So the warm terracotta and coral. I'm going to pick up a little bit more so you can really see that color. It's beautiful. Again, I am a sucker for corals, so I'm, I always appreciate a good coral. Beautiful. So did you see that I applied so much product, but it really just completely shears out. So that's what I love about this formulation. It is pigmented, it is buildable, and you can so easily shear it out. Anyone? Now this next shade is Azalea, a beautiful berry shade. Quite pigmented as you can see that. So when sheared out you can kind of see how beautifully pink this color is. It just looks absolutely stunning. And of course I'm going to build it up. the color there so this is the shade azalea next up we have dahlia which is your deepest berry Oh, you can see quite how intense that is. Gosh, that's a beautiful color. Very pigmented. So this is the shade Dahlia Sheared Out. It's that cool tone berry that I really love on my skin tone. So out of these two, although this shade is also really beautiful, actually it is, it's kind of hard to pick. I think I would probably pick the cooler tone berry. I will go ahead and build up a little bit more. So this is the shade Dahlia. So those were the swatches of the six cream blushes by Rose Ink. I have immensely enjoyed these blushes. They are very rich. So when I say rich, not only are they pigmented, but when you swipe your finger in the pants, you can feel how emollient they are and they feel like this luscious cream. So the texture is really beautiful. Now, they are more on the dewy, more emollient side. So these are not the type of blushes that you apply and will look matte on the skin or anything like that. They will most absolutely look dewy. You can tone down the dewiness if you, of course, powder underneath before you apply them or you just use a brush. A brush will take away some of that dewiness from the product and then it won't look so shiny. So if you've got texture on your cheeks and you're concerned about the dewiness, you can manipulate this blush and you would be all right now I will say that my hair will stick to this blush again it is a more emollient more dewy texture so absolutely my hair does stick to it I mean it's not horrible but as I'm moving around and I'm out and about especially if it's windy it will stick a little bit I'm not mad at it though one of the trade-offs with dewy blushes is the fact that they will be slightly tacky and that your hair will stick to it. So that's normal. That's okay. I have actually been wearing them a lot when I tie my hair up. Especially I will generally do something like this, pin my hair, and then these will work beautifully and my hair won't in that case stick to it. Longevity 
is great. I've been able to wear them all day long. They only really fade at the end of the day. So that eight hour mark is generally when I will see the color fade. But other than that, they're on my skin an entire day. Now I wouldn't, wouldn't recommend you wear a mask on top of these just because they are a bit emollient. So they will kind of rub off when you apply that mask. I've also used them in conjunction with powder products as well as other cream products like bronzers and blushes. And I haven't really had an issue with this formula. It's a very easy formula to work with. So if you're someone who is not used to cream blushes, for example, I don't think you will have an issue with these. They bend out really effortlessly on the skin. You can shear them out easily, but you can also, of course, build them up. Now, just remember the more product you apply, the more dewier they will get. I do think the color selection is really nice. I love the shades Foxglove, Azalea, Anemone. So even that Ophelia shade right at the beginning, that pink was really beautiful. So I've enjoyed the shades as well. If I was you and you're my skin color, I probably wouldn't buy Heliotrope. That's the really only shade that I think is a bit too light for me. Also, this formula will work well across various skin types. I think the only one that you may have issue with is oily skin. If you have very oily cheeks, you may not like this formulation just because it's a little bit more on the dewy side. So I do recommend you check out some reviews for people who have oily skin to see how that stacks up for you. For me, they're actually okay. I have combination skin. I do get oily around here. And so with this formulation on my skin, it lasted all day. It didn't get too greasy on the cheeks. Yes, I got a little bit shiny throughout the day, but that's normal for me. So I didn't really have an issue with that. And really, you guys, that's it. These are beautiful cream blushes. I had a feeling they were gonna be good, and they are, they're really great. I have immensely, immensely enjoyed these. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have other requests of cream blushes that you'd like to see on my channel, please let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in my next one. See ya.